Martin, you can try to rejoin. Yeah. Hello, Arshia, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Abdullah, can you hear me? Please unmute yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I have a triangle ABC, okay, is drawn to circumscribe a circle, as you can see in the figure. So the triangle has circumscribed the circle. That means every side is touching the circle, okay, of radius 4 centimeter. So I can say that this radius OD is 4 centimeter, right? Okay. Now... The segment BD and DC, okay, in which BC is divided by the point of contact D. So these length are given. This is 8 centimeter and this is 6 centimeter, right? Okay, find the, find the sides AB and AC. So the complete side AB and AC of this triangle you have to find. So write down whatever is given here. So BD is equal to 8 centimeter. Uh, CD is equal to 6 centimeter. OD is equal to 4 centimeter. This is given. Okay. To find AB and AC. Right. Solution. Now see here, we have learned a theorem that from an external point, the length of the tangent is equal, isn't it? So if I mark this point, let's say this point is E and this point is F. So CE will also be six centimeter, isn't it? And similarly, yes, now, BD is eight. So BF will also be eight centimeter, right? Okay. Now, so you can do one construction also before this. Now, construction is this, that you join it. You join this here and you join OB and uh, you can also join OC. Join OB, OC and OA. Now, what we will do is, this part we don't know. So, we assume it to be x centimeter and this part also x centimeter, right? Now, what are the three sides of the triangle, as you can see? So, the side AB, that becomes x plus 8 centimeter, right? Yes. Subhana, can you hear me? Yeah, Martin, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Subhana, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I've started question number 12. Now, these things are already given in the question. This you have to find the length of AB and AC, right? Yeah. Okay. So now there's a theorem that from an external point, the length of the tangent is equal, right? So if this is my point uh, C, so that means CD is equal to CE, right? So CE is also six centimeter. 
Similarly, you have uh, BD is equal to BF. So that means BF is also eight centimeter, okay? Now I have assumed this X centimeter and this also X centimeter, is that okay? Okay. So I'm writing now the three sides of this triangle. Just one minute, my screen is hanged. Wait a minute. Okay, so first side AB is now X plus eight centimeter. Then AC side becomes X plus six centimeter, right? And the C CD side, CD side that becomes six plus eight centimeter. Is that okay? So that means 14 centimeter. Is it clear now? Yes. So basically now you have a triangle, right? A, B and C. So this side is X plus eight. This side is X plus six and this side is 14. Everything is in centimeter. And then you have a center O, so it's like this. Now you have to find AB and AC. So what will you do now? We can do one thing here. Can mm. find the area of each of those triangles. Yeah, that we will find, Martin. Okay, now we know all the three sides of this triangle. So we can use Heron's formula to find its area. Right? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. See, the approach here will be, uh, I can divide this complete triangle into three, three triangles. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, one triangle is this triangle AOC, then plus triangle A, O, B and plus triangle C, O, B. So I can break this complete triangle like this. Now, I need something on the right hand side also to solve it because now sides are in terms of X as you can see, right? If you want to, if you want to find the length of A, B, so ultimately you have to find the Y value of X first of all, Is right? That means you need an algebraic expression to solve, right? So something you need on the right-hand side. So I can do one thing. I take area, area of these three triangle and that becomes the complete area of triangle, sorry, area of triangle ABC. Is that clear? Okay, now yes. this, this area I can find using the Heron's formula because I know all the three sides. Now. This area, for example, AOC. So this I can find half base into height formula. Okay. Let us see one by one. For example, you see this, uh, see this triangle. O, B, O, C, B, right? This is your height, which is actually the radius of the circle, isn't it? So yes. base is 14 centimeter and this height is already given, which is four centimeter, which is the radius of the circle. So this approach I'm going to use. So one by one, let us find out. So we are going to find the area of complete triangle AOB, okay? Using Heron's formula. So for this, you need semi-perimeter S which is sum of the sides divided by two. So your first side is X plus eight, plus X plus six and plus 14 and divided by two, right? So this will become X plus X will become two X plus 14 and six is 20 and that becomes 28 divided by two. 
and then you can take two common. So this becomes x plus 14 divided by two. The two two cancel out, that becomes x plus 14, right? Semi-perimeter. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so area of triangle AOB will be equal to. So the formula is this, you know, S into S minus A, S minus B, and into S minus C. So you mention what is your A here? A, you are taking X plus 8. B, you are taking X plus uh, 6. C is 14. So you put it here. S is X plus 14. And this is, use big bracket x plus 14 minus a which is x plus 8 please use brackets okay s x plus 14 minus b which is x plus 6 right into s minus c so x plus 14 and minus 14 right Everything is in under root. So now this is x plus 14 into. Now if you open the bracket, it becomes x plus 14 and minus x minus 8. Okay. Similarly, x plus 14 minus x minus 6. This is x plus 14 minus 14. All right. So this is x plus 14 into now x, x cancel out. 14 minus 8 will be how much? 6. Right. Again, x cancel out. 14 minus 6 will be how much will it be? 8. Right. Okay. And here 14, 14 cancel out. So you have x. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, just multiply 6 into 8 is 48. So you have 48x into x plus 14. And this you can multiply if you wish. So 48x squared plus, how much is 48 into 14? Please tell me. Four nine two zero. Four nine two zero. No, I don't think. No, no, no. Forty eight into fourteen. Four is the thirty two. Nineteen. One into eight. One into four. Six seven. Yeah. See, you people are really slow in calculation. How will it work in exam like this? I did it in I think three seconds. Yeah. You are in class 10th, please speed up. So anyway, this is area of the complete triangle ABC. So just to mark it, okay? We will be using it later on. All right. Now we have to find the individual area of the three triangles. So this is how your triangle is looking now. A, B, and C. So let us take this triangle AOC, right? Now, if I take uh, this, this was E and this was F and this point was D. Now, first of all, I have to show that o OE is perpendicular, isn't it? Then only I can use the formula half base into height. I think so many times I have told you this thing that if you are using this formula, then this height, that means this angle has to be 90 degree, then only this becomes height, okay? 
Now in this question, it is not given, so we have to show it. How we will show? Tangent, right? Yeah. So this is a circle, isn't it? So AC is a tangent, and OE is a radius. So we know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent, and therefore this angle is ninety degree, and therefore we can take it as height. Is that clear? Yes. So you write here. Yes, okay. So you say that here. Okay. Um, first of all, your OD is equal to OE is equal to OF. The length is four centimeter each. Hmm. And also, uh, uh, what is the theorem? The tangent is perpendicular. to the radius or the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Uh, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. Yeah. So therefore, OE is perpendicular on AC. Similarly, OF will be perpendicular on AB and OD will be perpendicular on BC. Now we can use the formula half base into height. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, like you can make three column and here you can find area of triangle AOC, area of triangle A. O, B, and then area of triangle, what is that? Uh, B, O, C, right? Okay. So this is half into base into height. So half into, now look at A, O, C. Base is A, C, height is O, E, right? Yes, ma'am. So this is half into, how much is AC? AC is uh, six plus X, right? Okay. And OE is four. So this two into two, so you get two into six plus X. So you get 12 plus two X, right? Now come to AOB. So again, this is half into base into height. So base is AB and height is OF. So half into AB is X plus 8. OF is 4. So again, 2 into 2, 4. So 2 into X plus 8, which becomes 2X plus 2 into 8 is 16. Okay. So all are in centimeters. Okay. Now again here, half base into height. So half BC into OD. So half BC is 14 centimeter and OD is four centimeter. Oh, sorry, square. This is area, right? It will be in centimeter square. Okay, now, so two into seven is 14 and seven into four is 28. So 28 centimeter square. Okay. Is that fine? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now, area of triangle AOB is equal to area of triangle. What I'm writing, sorry. Area of triangle AOC plus area of triangle AOB plus area of triangle BOC. So this triangle area, AOB, what was that? We have found 48 X square, I think, and plus 672 X, which was in under root. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Now AOC is 12 plus 2 X. This is 2x plus 16 and this is 28. 
yeah now you can um, now you can just simplify it so this is under root 48x square plus 672x is equal to so 2x plus 2x that becomes 4x plus now please add it 28 12 and 16 so 10 and 6 carry 1 3 4 5 56 i get 56 right so here you can uh, Okay, you can square on both sides. So that becomes 48x square plus 672x. And this side, it becomes 4x plus 56 whole square, right? So this is now a plus b whole square. Is this step clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. So this is a plus b whole square. That means a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. Is that clear? Now multiply this. So 48x square plus 672x is equal to 4 into 4, 16x square plus. Now multiply 56 into 56. Yes, how much is 56 into 56? Quickly. Abdullah, please tell me. 3136. Okay, Abdullah is not here. Okay, it's 3136, right. Then this uh, 2 into 4 is 8 and 8 into 56. So 6 into 8 is 48. Four, so it becomes 448. Four, right? So 448x. Four, four, yeah. Okay. Now you bring everything on the left hand side. Okay. So 48x square plus 672x minus 16x square minus 3136 minus 448x is equal to 0. So 48 minus 16, so 8 minus 6, 2, and that becomes 32 x square. And uh, so 672 x minus 448, two separately. 12 minus 8 is 4, then you have 6 minus 4 is 2. So I'm getting plus 224 x, right? Okay, and then minus this 3136 is equal to zero. Now all are even numbers, so you can start taking common. First of all, take two common. So what you get? Two into one and two into uh, six is 12. 16 x square plus. Okay, so one, one, two x minus. 2 into 1 is 2, 11, 2 into 5 is 10, 13, 2 into 6 is 12, 16, 2 into 8. So this 2 will go in, okay, one more 2 you can take out common as you can see, right? So that becomes 8x square plus 2 into 5 is 10 and this becomes 5. Okay, minus 7 into 14, 8 into 16, and this is 4. Again, one more, 2, you can take common. 
तो फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू टू इज फोर सिक्सटीन सो ट्वेंटी एट एक्स माइनस टू इंटू थ्री नाइन टू इज दट ओके सो टू इंटू टू फोर फोर इंटू एट एट इंटू ना वन मोर टू यू कैन टेक आउट कॉमन सो दैट बिकम्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टीन एक्स माइनस वन नाइनटीन टू इंटू नाइन इज एटीन ट्वेल्व वन नाइन सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर ना वन मोर टू यू कैन टेक कॉमन So eight into two into two that becomes x square plus seven x minus uh, two into nine is eighteen and sixteen so two into eight so that's the mm. now this will go in the denominator and this will become zero so x square plus seven x minus ninety eight ninety eight is equal to zero this is a quadratic equation you are getting right yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Now you can solve it. You know, factorize ninety-eight quickly. So two into two. See, Tare. I am taking two, two, two common. If you, if you see, you can directly take eight common or four common. It's your wish. Okay. So I am not taking a large number common. It's very easy to divide by two. So that's why I keep on taking two common every time. It's your wish. You can directly do it. Take eight common or four common. Anyway, so two into two, two into four is eight. Eighteen, two into nine, so seven into seven, and seven into one. So I can take fourteen and seven combination, right? So x square plus fourteen x minus seven x minus ninety eight is equal to zero. Clear? Okay. Now you take x common, so x plus fourteen. Then minus of seven common, so x plus fourteen is equal to zero. Then x plus fourteen into x minus ah uh, seven is equal to zero, right? So x plus fourteen is equal to zero. That gives you x is equal to minus of fourteen. And x minus seven is equal to zero. So that implies x is equal to seven, right? Now this one will be neglected, or rejected. You can say not neglected. This is rejected. Why? Why rejected? Because x is length. Okay, it cannot be negative. We have assumed it to be a length of something, right? As length cannot be negative. Okay, so therefore. X is equal to seven, right? So your length AB that becomes x plus eight centimeter. That means seven plus eight centimeter, and that means fifteen centimeter. Then your length AC was x plus six centimeter. So that is seven plus six centimeter. And this is thirteen centimeter. So this is the length of AB and AC. Okay. Okay. Any problem in this question? Anyone? Arshia, yeah. Abdullah. See, the question is long, but it's not tough, right? And like both the theorem of circles are used in this question. The length of the tangent theorem also, and the radius is perpendicular to the tangent also, right? So. It's not that tough. Like if you assume the sides to be in terms of x, then simply what you are doing is you are dividing the triangle into three parts. I am not saying they are equal parts. It doesn't matter. I mean that's not the requirement in this question. I am just breaking it into three parts, and when I add the area, it becomes the area of the complete triangle. So complete triangle area I can find by Heron's formula, as all the three sides are known to you, and then individually half base into height 
I can find three area, then I can add them and I can equate them. Then I get a quadratic equation, which I can solve and I can get the value of X. Then I can find my AB and AC, which were in terms of X. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, such a nice story I have told you, right? Yeah, okay. Next question. I mean, you can recall your questions like that in your mind. That was the idea. So just close your eyes and just recall what exactly you have done in this question. It will fit in your mind. Okay, one minute. Okay, so last uh, question of this exercise, uh, if, of this chapter, in fact. Now prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle. Okay, so circle is inside or the circle is outside? Now you tell me. Yes, what is the meaning of this? Circumscribing. No, it's outside, the, inside the circle is inside. Yeah, see, read again. The quadrilateral is circumscribing. Right, so that means the quadrilateral is outside and the circle is inside. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So you have to do is, um, I mean, you have a circle and then this circle is actually inside a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral can be of any shape. It can be something like this. So it has to touch. Okay, this is your quadrilateral. You name it A, B, and C, and D. Okay. Uh, this is the center of the circle. Prove that the opposite sides of a quadrilateral subtend, supplementary angle. Now, what are the opposite side? One side, let's say A, B, and one side is C, D. Right now, the angle subtended by AB at the center is this angle. If you join this and you join this, so that means this angle they're talking about. Is that clear? Now, the opposite side CD, so CD is subtending this angle, this angle at the center. Okay, now you have to show that these two angles are supplementary, that means the sum is 180 degrees. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, well, let us write down whatever is given, first of all. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Right? Uh, which touches the circle. So it's a quadrilateral like that, that it is touching the circle. So which touches the circle at points. So you can give some name to these points, P, Q, R, and S. Okay, so P, Q, R, and S. So it is like that. Now to prove, so you have to prove that angle, uh, this A, O, B and plus, or you can take A, O, D also, no issue, right? A, O, B plus angle C, O, D is 180 degree. Or you can also show that angle A, O, D plus angle B, O, C is 180 degree because they are also opposite sides, right? A, D and B, C. Okay, so this is construction that you join OP and then you join OQ, join OR and join OS. Join OP, OQ, OR, OS, right?
Okay, so I'm giving them some name. I think it will be easier to solve that way. Just name them like this, angle one, this much. Then this is your angle two, angle three, angle four. And this much is five, right? This much is six and seven and eight. Like that, you can name all the angles. Okay, now any two angles here, you can show equal. How? As you can see, there are so many triangles, right? For example, I take this triangle and I take this triangle. Now, if I show them congruent, so by CPCT, I can say angle one will be equal to angle eight. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I'm taking these two triangles. Now in triangle, a O P and triangle A O S. Now tell me three things quickly. Ma'am, uh, P O equal to P O. P O is equal to or O P is equal to how much? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, o, o, S, o, S. O, S. O, S, Y. Radii. Yeah, both are radii of same circle. Okay. Next. Um, Arshia, now you tell me. Okay, why? Okay, ma'am. Um, tangent. Yeah, so length of the tangent, right? So length of, please mention the theorems also. Length of tangent from external point R equal. And AO equal to AO similarly. Yeah, and AO is equal to AO, which is common. So that becomes SSS criteria. Okay. So by SSS criteria, triangle AOP is congruent to triangle AOS. And then by CPCT, what I'll get? So I'll get angle one is equal to angle eight. Equation number one. I mean, result number one. Angle four. Yeah, sure. Please mark the angles correct, okay? One, two, three, four in the correct manner. Right? Okay. Now, all the other angles you don't have to prove. You can just write similarly. Okay. So, similarly, if I take other triangles, so I will get angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Then I'll get angle 4 is equal to angle 5. And angle 6 is equal to angle 7. Is that clear, all of you? Yeah, yeah, same way I'll get it. So you don't have to show that. Just write similarly. All right. Now, one thing I know that if I add all the angles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I should get 360. Yes. Okay. So now, if I add angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5, plus angle 6, plus angle 7, plus angle 8 is equal to 360 degree. Why? This is angle sum property. Okay. Angle sum property of quadrilateral. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, pay attention here. Uh, see, I am trying to show this now. Just one minute. Let me use some different pen. Okay. 
okay now see here i am trying to prove this thing uh, let's say this one that aob is equal to cod right this yes. one i'm trying to show aob is equal to cod so that means i need my answer in terms of angle 1 and angle 2 and 5 and 6 can you see that in the figure Can everybody see that? Please unmute yourself. Yeah. See, I want AOB. So AOB means angle one and angle two, right? And then yes. COD. COD means angle five and angle six. So what I'll do here is one, two, five, and six. That I will keep. Okay. So that yeah. means one, two, five, six. This I will not so disturb. Get two angle, and then you divide that by three sixty, and then you get one eighty. Yes, that I that I do. Yes. But wait, so one, two, five, six. I will not disturb, and the other angles that I am going to replace. So I'll replace them by the result one, two, three, four. Okay. So angle one plus angle two plus now angle three can be written as angle two. From here, plus angle 4 can be written as angle 5, plus angle 5 I will not disturb, 6 I will not disturb, now 7, 7 can be written as angle 6, and 8 can be written as angle 1, right? So everything is now in terms of 1, 2, 5, 6. So there are two angle 1, so twice of angle 1, plus twice of angle 2, plus twice of angle 5 plus twice of angle 6 is 360 degree. Then you can take two common. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 360 degree. This two you can uh, bring in the denominator and then you can make pairs. So angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is one pair. This is 180 degree. Now, angle 1 plus angle 2 is angle AOB and plus 5 plus 6 is, as you can see in the figure, COD, right? So, now you have shown them to be supplementary and the other result you can just write similarly angle AOD and plus angle BOC will also be 180 degrees.